Hi all, my name is Der König and I work for Canoe in Basel, Switzerland. And today I'd like to introduce you to the multi-device capability of Open Dolphin. And we will see the very same application running in Basel, Switzerland. And we will connect to it from where I live today, which is uh, Zurich, 100 kilometers away from Basel. And we will see the very same application on the web, on a tablet, on a smartphone, and on the desktop, either in the browser or with the JavaFX application. This is for one reason, that is that you can use whatever is available to you as, an, um, as a device. Second, um, and the application can follow you wherever you go, and you can continue working where you left off, and you can even work in a team setting. Um, we will have probably more blog posts and more screencasts about the uh, follow me and team application scenario, but for today we will focus on the multi-device capability. So let's start with um, the web client, for example. Let's see, uh, connect to the web. And we're going to a Klondike Canoe.com, by the way, you can connect to that application yourself. I'll link to that in the show notes. What we have here is uh, a list which only consists of one team member. It happens to be uh, Dirk Koenig. And what you see, everything is kind of marked as clean. Uh, so no dirty information, everything is saved to the database. As soon as I do any change, let's say Dirk becomes Dirk XXX, you'll see the yellow background and you'll see the bold figure over here, such that to indicate that this is dirty. When I create a new one, you see the yellow marking here as well um, to indicate that this is dirty. I can create a few more, by the way. Um, this all goes over the wire. So there's 100 kilometers back and forth whenever I click the plus button, because that goes to the server and the server has all the handling, all the application code that says whenever there's a new entry, just create the new entry and uh, select it immediately. So when I create a new one here, um, and this is my spouse, for example, and I make her uh, CEO, say, also not so bad. And uh, you see here, you see the dirty information. As soon as I click on save, it's no longer dirty, but pristine. You see that by the background color. I can go back to the old entry and uh, while well, I could save or reset, by the way, save and reset is only enabled if it's dirty. Here it's not dirty and therefore it's not enabled. This is all very consistent, usual Open Dolphin uh, behavior. Even if I just um, manually go back to the old state, deleting the XXX over here, such that I come back to the original information, you see it's no longer dirty, I cannot save or reset anymore. As soon as I start changing things again, for example, dragging the slider, You'll see also the value over here updating while I drag the slider, while I'm dragging back and forth, new values come in. If I go back manually to the 100, it is automatically um, pristine again. So we have a number of entries here. We may want to delete those in the middle. Delete, delete, delete. So we have uh, two clean ones. Let's make one of them um, just slightly dirty. Let's say, let's make myself uh, available, yes, and uh, contractor, no, oh, that's good. So leave that dirty for the moment and just close the view. Now, uh, let's say this, this was on the web somewhere and on some machine where I started this work. And now I'd like to uh, move on with this work, but I'm in a meeting room and the only thing that I have available is my tablet. I'm moving my tablet over here. And this, by the way, is uh, not an emulation. This is live tablet over the, um, over the air server. So I, I cannot really operate this uh, with a mouse here. I have to 
use the real machine, which I'm currently picking up. And now from the machine, I'm gonna select the, uh, the dolphin over there, clicking on it, and going to my team members application. And it's updating from the, uh, from the real server. That took a second. And you will see the, um, you see that there is the dirty state and the pristine state. So I'm really working on the, on the full state again. So let's say I'm selecting the first entry, which is me. And um, then for, for entering some data on the tablet, I may want to zoom in a little, like so, with the pinch mode. And let's say I'm changing the workload. Now I'm I'm tabbing on the on the slider below, move it back and forth, and moving it back to the left. Maybe I should change this a little, such that you can see that the workload is really changing in the upper right corner. This goes to zero, and now I'm going back to 100. Same behavior here that you see that you have seen in in the browser is now also available. Um, happens to be an iPad. Could be any tablet. Let's uh, make me a contractor. Here we go. I can save or reset. Let's say I want to reset to the last known good state. I'm clicking on reset and everything is uh, pristine again. Let's, um, let's make a small change, maybe not having the function as engineer, but clicking on the engineer thing and going to, let's say, uh, administrator leaving a dirty state behind when I'm uh, closing the iPad. Now um, I'm leaving my meeting room and I'm on my way while and while I'm on my way I think that I should probably update that information but the only device available to me is my smartphone. So I'll try to make my smartphone ready. And since I don't have an air server for my smartphone, I have to do this um, with the camera, really. So let's see whether this works out. So coming to my smartphone, connecting to the application the live application that you can also use. Selecting the demo and you see the very same application that we have seen before. I want to tap in, have it a little bit bigger. The typical behavior. So let's select the respective entry and say, no, you know what? Administrator is not the real thing that I'd like to have. I'd like to make that um, not administrator, but well, uh, let's say CEO. I typically want to be CEO. You see the the controls. So here we have it, and still dirty, which is nice since we are not yet fully ready. We have been underway, and while you're underway and using a smartphone, you typically don't want to have the um, want to have the full capabilities, but just make a few entries like. Uh, categorization or just selecting something. So that's the, the full application then on the smartphone. Let's go back and complete our work. We are back to work and we are completing the work um, on a desktop client. This happens to be a JavaFX application. It goes to a client like Canucom. And we're moving back. Here we go. So we can select uh, the Koenig, this is me, and say, well, this was all fine. We could possibly change the workload a little and uh, see how quickly this goes. And even though the information also from this side goes 100 kilometers back and forth, look how quickly the progress bar is updating when I'm changing the the slider over here, right? One, two, three, four, and 100, and back, and 100. It's all immediately. So let's save it. Let's say um, 
or maybe creating new ones. Making two of them. Here is one. Especially when you have larger data entries, you typically want to have the desktop capabilities. Let's say a few more entries in for example, go over here and now you have your better means of data entries like using your um, up and down arrow for selecting the respective avatar for your function. And very quickly, as you see, make that very quick. Um, you can have advanced visualizations, for example, the, the available checkbox here and contractor checkbox. You can also use that directly over here in this visualization. That one with a small animation with this uh, golden knob, if you want. And uh, remember, so that's all the information is immediately updated. So uh, here you see the check mark. When I uncheck this, this should also go away. Right? One, two. This works exactly like it should. And let's say save. Saving this one, selecting this one, maybe deleting it. Let's see if there's no selection. There's the no selection avatar also being there. So everything is always um, in the proper state. So let's delete it. You can always delete. And there's automatically a new selection and the next selected one is shown over here. Let's go back and finish off. Maybe from, um, from going back to the web again. We should see the latest state, and we do. This is our latest state. There isn't, the selection has not been uh, retained, but uh, all, all the data, of course, but also presentation state has been, uh, has been available consistently through all the devices. The web client, the desktop client, the tablet client, and the uh, smartphone client. Please stay tuned for the team applications. Bye.